Ναι, για σας μεγάλη πίεση το ότι πρέπει να κερδίσει ουσιαστικά και τα τρία παιχνίδια στο μέσα από μια δύσκολη έδρα και την Ολλανδία και τη Γαλλία για να πούμε ότι υπάρχουν ελαστικές εκτελές πρόκλησης. Ε, σίγουρα, ξέρουμε ότι απομένουν τρία παιχνίδια για να ακολουθεί ε, για να ολοκληρωθεί ο όμιλο. Ε, από εκεί και πέρα βλέπουμε κάθε παιχνίδι ξεχωριστά. Πρώτο μα στόχο είναι, είναι να έρθουμε εδώ αύριο ε, και, να, και να πάρουμε ώστε να το, το, ε, ώστε να το, ε, το καλύτερο αποτέλεσμα. Ε, οπότε, οπότε κοιτάμε πρώτα απ' όλα το παιχνίδι απέναντι στην Ιρλανδία αύριο ε, και στη συνέχεια θα δούμε τι, τι αποτέλεσμα θα πάρουμε εδώ και θα δούμε τι μπορούμε να κάνουμε και στα επόμενα δύο παιχνίδια. So the question was uh, if uh, the fact that we have, um, if there is pressure, extra pressure for the players that uh, we, because we need to win all three matches against Ireland, the Netherlands and France to have uh, an opportunity to qualify uh, for the Euro. Uh, Dinos replied that uh, yes, we need most probably to, to win all three matches, but we look at it much separately. Uh, we want to come here tomorrow and get the best result and uh, win this uh, match against Ireland first and then look at the next two matches. Ireland is a team that has scored in the last few phases. They have a good phase, they have a good team. They have a good team, they have a good team. They have a good team, they have a good team to win the team. They have a good team, they have a good team. They have a good team. Ε, ναι, γενικότερα, γενικότερα ξέρουμε ότι ο ένα από τα δυνατά του σημεία είναι τα στιγμένα. Ε, έχουμε προετοιμάσει κατάλληλα και ο προπονητή μα φυσικά εξ αρχή μα έχει, έχει αναφέρει ότι ε, πρέπει να δούμε ε, τη δεύτερη προσοχή στα στιγμένα και ειδικότερα τώρα που ο αντίπαλό μα είναι πολύ δυνατό και έχει καταφέρει να, να σκοράρει σε μερικά από τα παιχνίδια. Um, we know that, uh, the question was that we know that uh, the Ireland team, they are very good at set pieces, they are strong, uh, you know, athletic uh, players, uh, so have they worked on, you know, on this part and the tactics and Venus uh, replied that yes, we know that the set piece is a strong point for our opponents, uh, we have prepared properly with the codes and we know that we need to pay attention to this particular aspect of uh, the Irish team. Sure. Δίνω από το που ανέλαβε ο κύριος Πογέτ την ομάδα, έχετε κάνει όλα όσα πρέπει να κάνετε. Έχετε πάρει όλα τα μας που είναι παιχνίδια που ήταν στο Nations League και ως τώρα αυτά που είχαμε στο τον Όμιλο. Αυτό ίσως τελικά είναι το τελευταίο μας που είναι παιχνίδι αυτού του Ομίλου, που αν το πάρετε, σας δίνει το δικαίωμα για δύο μάτς γιορτή από αυτά που ονειρεύεστε από παιδιά να παίξετε. Μεταξύ σα το, το συζητάτε ότι εδώ είμαστε, ότι τώρα έχουμε να κάνουμε το πούμε παραπάνω. Ε, ναι, σίγουρα από την αρχή, από την αρχή αυτών των παιχνιδιών ε, ξέραμε και, και είχαμε θέσει στόχο την πρόκλησή μα στο, ε, στο Euro, οπότε, οπότε σίγουρα ένα, ένα από τα παιχνίδια που θέλουμε να κερδίσουμε ε, είναι αυτό. Ε, από εκεί και πέρα έχουμε τρία παιχνίδια, που μένουν τρία παιχνίδια, ε, όλα γίνονται σε ποδόσφαιρο. Οπότε πρώτα απ' όλα ε, να δώσουμε ότι καλύτερο έχουμε στο αυρωμένο παιχνίδι, παιχνίδι και από εκεί και πέρα ε, έχουμε ακόμα δύο παιχνίδια και όπω είπα όλα γίνονται και... Ε, αν και τυχόν δεν, δεν καταφέρουμε να κερδίσουμε άλλο, έχουμε ακόμα δύο παιχνίδια και υπάρχουν πολλέ ελπίδε. Uh, since the question was that since uh, our coach took over, uh, the team has won all the masculine matches, both in the Nations League uh, tournament and now uh, in this uh, qualifiers group stage. Uh, so tomorrow is another must win, must win match for our team. And then they will have the opportunity if they win to play two matches that maybe they have been dreaming since they were, you know, young footballers on the beach. And Dinas now replied that yes, we knew that that the, from the beginning that the goal was for us to win uh, these matches. So we come here tomorrow. He says first of all to win this particular match and uh, give one our 100%. And because in football anything is possible, we may let's say not have a positive result tomorrow, but then we still get. Uh, an opportunity with having another two matches remaining in the group. Yes, I don't know. 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 So, the um, question was that uh, Dinos is in a very good condition. Uh, in the last match, actually, he scored two goals, first two goals for the team. 
uh, is he going to make it three, a triple tomorrow, a triple, a triple. So he says he does not know. The first, his first concern is for the team to get the three points to give our 100% our, our, our best and uh, for the team to play to do its best game. So gentlemen, do you have questions for, for our player? This please. Yeah. Uh, in June you played against Evan Ferguson. Um, since you've gone to West Ham, have you been looking at him and what do you make of him as a player? Uh, uh, Ferguson Παρακολουθούν, ξέρουν και για το συγκεκριμένο παίκτη αλλά και για όλου του παίκτε τη ελληνική ομάδα ότι είναι πάρα πολύ δυνατοί παίκτε και έχουμε παρακολουθήσει την πορεία του και είναι έτοιμοι να του αντιμετωπίσουν. And they are prepared to uh, face every you know, the players tomorrow. They have, they have been tracking their um, displays in the, with their clubs. Okay. Dino, you're free. You can go. Okay. Don't move a little bit. Yeah. Get ready. Get ready. Ερωτήσεις για τον κύριο Πολιέτη, έχετε. Ναι, ναι, πάω από στόλοι. Σε αρκετό καιρό πλέον με την ομάδα και το Euro 24 είναι πιο κοντά από ό,τι όταν ανέλαβε στην Εθνική Ομάδα. Πόσο κοντά σας το νιώθετε, το Euro, και πόσο περνάει το Euro από το αυριανό παιχνίδι. In English. Okay. So, uh, Cozy has been with the team for some time now, and uh, now the Euro 2024 seems closer. But how close actually is the Euro for us, and uh, how important is tomorrow's match for the qualification? Um, we are very realistic. Okay, we know our position in this group. I don't forget my reaction when the draw in Frankfurt. Uh, and we knew that it would be very, very difficult through the groups. Luckily, we still have in the playoff, but today we're still in the race. So because we are in the race, we will run. We will try our best and the most important games now is tomorrow. So we go no excuses, a few injuries like everybody. And we come here to play the best game we can, especially to try to impose our rhythm on the game. Because we know what the Republic of Ireland is going to do, most of the time they do. So we need to be very brave to try to control the game. Ο προπονητή μα είπε ότι είμαστε πάρα πολύ ρεαλιστέ. Γνωρίζουμε τη θέση μα στον όμιλο. Θυμάται ακόμα την αντίδρασή του όταν έγινε η κλήρωση για του ομίλου του Φραγκφούρτη. Ήξερε ότι θα είναι δύσκολο να προκριθούμε μέσα από αυτόν τον όμιλο, μέσα από τη διαδικασία των ομίλων. Ευτυχώ έχουμε την δυνατότητα, την ευκαιρία των παρά στο Μάρτιο. Είμαστε όμω ακόμα στην κούρσα και αφού είμαστε στην κούρσα θα προσπαθήσουμε, θα τρέξουμε μαζί του προπονητή. Το σημαντικό το σημαντικότερο παιχνίδι είναι αύριο. Δεν έχουμε δικαιολογίε. Έχουμε κάποιου τραυματισμού όπω όλοι έχουν τραυματισμού. Το σημαντικό λοιπόν είναι τελείω αύριο να προσπαθήσουμε να επιβάλλουμε το ρυθμό μα στο παιχνίδι. Ξέρουμε τι θα κάνουν οι αντιπαλοί μα. Οπότε πρέπει να είμαστε αρκετά δυνατοί, γενναίοι και θαραλέοι, ώστε να μπορέσουμε να κάνουμε το παιχνίδι μα και να επιβάλλουμε το ρυθμό μα. Ναι. Το προβληματίζει ότι η εξήγηση μα δεν έχουν σχολάει. Και αν αύριο σκέφτεται να παίξουμε ένα αμυντικό χάπα για να δούμε τι θα να παίξουμε λίγο πιο παραγωγικό όπω Αντί για. No. Um, are you concerned by the fact that our strikers have not been scoring enough goals? And do you plan maybe to use one 
uh, defensive no. midfielder instead of two, Siopis Kubelis, changing the system so you can achieve, uh, you know, give them the opportunity to score more. About the strikers, um, I've been watching a lot how they play in their teams, what they do differently, what we can do to help them. It's not easy, but we're trying to find a solution. Depend, um, about the team, too many ideas in here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> No, we no, we ninety nine percent we won't change the way we play. It's a matter of deciding the, the three midfielders, so it's no drama. It's not? Drama. Yeah. Ivan, I also for the exceptional comment that you said to us must he prospects and paracolitis can adi post pressure with the somados to stick on the paracolitis to somados to put us in the natota na scorarune, or to nabores na tus voithisi na scorarune ke metne fikima se prospectu mele na vrume tilisi. Όσον αφορά το κομμάτι που θα στήσει με τους αμυντικούς, έχει πάρα πολλές ιδέες. Σε πολύ μεγάλο ποσοστό δεν θα αλλάξει ε, τη διάταξη της ομάδας. Ε, μην είμαστε δραματικοί, θα το δούμε αύριο. Έχετε οι Έλληνες άλλες ερωτήσεις. So, gentlemen, we have questions for, for our group. Let's move on without uh, translation, English uh, okay. to English. How are you? Very well, thank you. Nice to be here. Yeah, you're very welcome. The uh, June 16th great victory for Greece, uh, that match. Uh, have you seen anything from the Ireland team in, in the match in Paris and at home to the Dutch that changed your mind about how they'll play or how they'll settle? No, confirm. Confirm things. Um, I was saying before about the, the pace of the game. Uh, most of the time, the first 20 minutes is tremendous, the pace. And you need to adapt, you need to be ready to control that, you need to be ready to compete at that level. Obviously, there is a moment that naturally the game settles down. Uh, so we need to get to that point, whatever it is, 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes, on the game. You cannot be you know, down 2 nil or 3 nil. So uh, the idea is to be very brave in the beginning and through the game and start controlling and playing our game. <coughs> because the more we can play our game, the more chances to win the game. So it's going to be a nice contrast or difference of uh, styles. And the one imposed the game the most, you know, you've got more chances of winning. Is this, uh, is this a, an enormous game for Greek football? Because you win this, beat the Dutch. And yes. Win yes. It, it's still something that is incredible that I don't know if you know, you play with the numbers normally now. In the beginning I didn't, but now I'm starting three, three here, three there. We can make 18 points and be out. We can win the three games and be out because Holland can make 18 and we need to beat them more than three near. It will be tough. So we're expecting maybe, if we do well our job, France to give us a hand <laughs> tomorrow night. That would be, uh, make the game on Monday even bigger, but uh, tomorrow, first tomorrow. Yeah, Gus, um, Keith Andrews said on Tuesday that you had Irish coaches helping you with um, preparation last June. Is that you know why it was, uh, yeah, they sent it to me two days ago. It, it was sad. It was very disappointed. I don't know Keith. From outside, seeing him talking on television and the way he played football, I thought he was an intelligent man. And he made a mistake. He made a big mistake because he's lying. First, because I don't invite people to watch my training. I don't. Secondly, because nobody told me how Republic of Ireland plays. Uh, third, because if you look how your country played before the players, uh, France at home, 5 for one Three days before that, they played Latvia, 5-3-2. How they play against us? 5-3-2 the first half, 5 for one the second half. Do you really think that I need information? In each learn. Let's say that Young made a mistake, made excuses, but he was disappointed, very disappointed. Gary is one of the most intelligent players I have 
in my time at Brighton, uh, is proper Irish, proper, and I promise you he said nothing. We talk, I, I will tell you one thing is important. We talk more about how good Brighton play than about Republic of Ireland. So uh, definitely got in, uh, nothing to do with that. That he was uh, in Greece? Yes, he was. He went to watch the game and he was a. Uh, and the day he came, we done nothing to show how we play, <laughs> just in case he was telling the Republic of Ireland. So that's how it works. But Gary, honest, very honest man. He's a he's top bloke, so um, cheap, cheap accusation for him, very cheap. Yeah? Gus, will that fuel you personally even more tomorrow night? Sorry? Will that sort of... Disappointment for you, you personally. Yeah. No, but by making an example, if tomorrow Republic of Ireland play 4 4 2, I don't know. It would be a surprise? Yes. Because the last 10 games you started with 5 at the back. I have to prepare my team based on what I'm watching and what I believe that can happen. Then I can make a mistake and I need to adapt. I'm the players that need to adapt. But finding through someone how they're going to play. I would, now, uh, I would say I've got enough experience to imagine. I'm making an example as well. We play Holland or Netherlands. Uh, we practice to play two different systems against them, and they play one of them. And me as a coach, I'm happy when I know more or less how they play. Then, if, if, for example, tomorrow if I get the team sheet and I read that 4 4 2, I need to call everybody and set up something, explain, help them to go into the pitch in a better situation. Now, if they play five, for one or five, three, two, we know. We train it, we know, we watch it, we, we know everything. Then you need to perform, eh? That doesn't mean that it's good. But uh, finding like that, I've been too many years in England, you know? And uh, I remember the Bielsa, Derby, Derby Country, Leeds situation. No, nah, nothing to do with that. Serious. Um, Matt Doherty said earlier in the week that your players contrived or helped to get him sent off in you know? <laughs> uh, Stephen Kenny said something similar today. He said uh, players were throwing themselves on the ground to get Matt sent off. Um, he also said you were streetwise. So do you take that as a compliment or how do you react to what Matt Doherty said about players helping to get him sent off? He played for Atletico Madrid, you know? <laughs> when he was in Spain, in Spain he was not watching the game. Where he was in? He was in another planet. I mean, it's world football. Now, I never had a coach who told me to dive, I promise you. Did I dive when I was young? Yeah, a lot. Then I came to England, and the first thing they said to me, don't. And you need to learn. And the first one he told me three times, don't, was any wise. Don't do that. You're in England. And you learn. Then, do you want me to control the whole world, the players, they go down, and no, no, Dougherty made a mistake. He reacted to something, and he got sent off. Uh, I don't think tomorrow we come in here thinking in anything of that. We come in here thinking intensity, power, defending, 1v1, one one, balls in the air, and for that there is no way that you're going to go down. You need to defend it. So, again, uh, look, let's leave it like that. <laughs> better for everyone. Let's play the game the best you can with your ability. You know, when it goes against you, it hurts, yeah, but sometimes it goes the other way. It's how he's playing the game nowadays. That's why we're playing 15 minutes extra. Do I like it? No. We went down to 10 in France, do you know? After 15 minutes. And they put 14 minutes. And we went down to 10. I was thinking, thank you. I want to play three more. Uh, you need to play. That's the way the referee can control. The, the rest is... I can't, seriously, I'm surprised. I didn't read that part. I read only the, the Keith Andrew. Uh, play the game. Come on. Be men. Are, are you disappointed with what you've heard this week? Or is it... No, know, we're okay. We, we are okay. No, no. It was, it was a shock uh, situation the other day, like I said, but nothing else. We are... We are okay, we have a few injuries. I think Republic of Ireland the same. The stadium is spectacular, absolutely spectacular. If you, can, if you don't want to play in this stadium, you're not a footballer. Uh, I know how much Republic of Ireland wants to win. 
I know um, <coughs> we will try our best to be there. Then in football, the one who perform on the day, we win the game. It's no more than that. You know, there is plenty of things that they are more difficult, you know, wars and killing and everything. So let's think about the game and enjoy it. I hope it's full. I don't know if it's news that it's going to be full because it's football, when it's full, full house, is spectacular for the players and for everyone. Good? Yes, one more. Yeah. One more. Um, in June, you, did, you weren't playing against Shane Duffy. You have him tomorrow. What difference can he make? Oof, yes, the law. But I think, that, like I said, <clears throat> every time that the, a, a player is not there, somebody else got a chance. And every time that a player is available, uh, for example, we were looking at you, thinking, OK, go and take some points from you know, the rest of the teams. And then Ferguson didn't come. And we say, oh. And now he's coming. Oh, thank you. Say, and we need to deal with it. Uh, I'm sure that it's going to be uh, you know, someone else who is going to give everything, and it's going to be difficult for us. Nothing else. OK, thank you. Cheers. Sorry about that.